This bandsaw was rescued from a junk dealer. It, I paid five dollars for it. It didn't have a table. It didn't have um, blade guides. It didn't have a motor. But it did have the stand, five dollars, and uh, the cast iron portion, which I thought was worth five dollars, and I thought I could make it work, and I did. I built a wooden deck for it. I built plastic and wooden uh, blade guides, um, and I've been pretty happy with it until I saw Matthias's uh, web page where he built um, he he built his wooden bandsaw with a tilting table. At that time, I did not have a tilting table, so I thought, "What the heck? Let's build a tilting table like Matthias." And the locking mechanism is shown here. And this is a version of Matthias's um, build. It, Matthias had a wooden, completely wooden bandsaw, and of course this is ca uh, cast iron. Um, and I'm going to rebuild it. I'm going to build this, what I'm calling a trunnion beam and trunnion cradles. And this is the trunnion rocker. Um, and I'm going to rebuild it all in a few minutes because this 2x4 is not st stiff enough. The table bend flexes a little bit. And I'm going to make it thicker. I'm going to build a thicker piece. And um, I'm also going to rebuild this plywood uh, trunnion cradle. I'm going to make it thicker. And um, the arching portion is going to be thicker as well. So I have a CNC machine which is going to aid me in building these parts. In fact, all of these parts were built with the CNC machine. And I have the replacement piece of oak on my CNC machine right now and I'm going to uh, machine these four holes, two counter bores, some pin alignment holes and uh, bolting holes. So let's go look at that. So this is my CNC machine. It is a Joe hybrid, 4x4 hybrid. It is pretty much the original build. You can go to uh, joecnc.com and I'm, I'll check that reference in a few minutes and uh, correct it if necessary. So this is the trunnion beam. It is a thicker, you can see it's thicker, it's the same length overall. And I'm going to square it up um, so that it, uh, the x-axis is, is parallel to me. So here you can see I have the machine uh, hovering over my workpiece and I have a laser uh, uh, projector with an X and it shines down on the wood and you can see I've got the horizontal portion splitting the edge now I can make uh, this is my X X Y and Z I can make it move in the X direction and then I can watch um, and see if I am parallel or not and you can see I'm not parallel I need to adjust this wood downward a little bit now that looks about right, and I'm going to run backwards, check again. A lot of times that'll move the other end as well. So this looks like it's pretty square at this point. The, the X is split. The horizontal portion is split. So now I can lock down these uh, hold here, and I start it remotely. start up the router. It's going to get loud here. And now I'll come over and I will start up the program. Now here you'll see it oper running through all the code, which this is ASCII code. And there you can see it moving.
the beam uh, with the holes completed, drilled through, pan drilled. And here is the comparison between the previous 2x4 and the new, I don't know, it's a 3x4. So next, I'm going to rebuild the cradle, making it thicker uh, right here and here. It'll be, uh, it will start this thickness. You can also see that I'll probably have to notch out the lumber here uh, if I want to keep the same deck elevation. I'll have to knock out the notch out the new beam about here, but it'll be full height out at the ends. I believe uh, Matthias did the same thing. So here I am in my design studio and. <laughs> It's so at Windows 7, and I'm, this is my software for the uh, CAD and CAM. I can design and cut with this software. It's called Aspire, and up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see a little fuzzy Aspire. It's made by a group of guys in England. They put produce an excellent software, several different versions. They're a company on the Internet, if you look up Vec Vetric. Com. So this is the right half, what I call right half of the trunnion cradle. Um, this is a, um, a there's a right a mirror image of this part, left hand, right hand. This is a right hand, and I cut this pocket only about uh, eighth of an inch deep, and it's a quarter inch uh, wide. This is a quarter. The blue is the cutout path, and uh, purple maybe whatever that. Color okay, is. we're back in the garage, and I've loaded in the downstairs computer, the CNC computer. I've loaded the uh, tooling path for the half, uh, call it trunnion cradle right, and here I'm moving it a little bit so that you can see the actual path. Okay, I'm ready to cut out uh, one side of the new I've started applying some glue. I'm going to join the left and right hand versions of this together. And the whole reason for the left and right hand version is for that slot. Uh, if I I could cut the slot and drill the slot later, and I would only have to create one version of this. All right, let's see what I can do. I don't know. So there is a cradle a trunnion cradle all clamped up left and right hand sides here's the other one and I'm very happy with this portion okay I've loosened up these uh, two mounting bolts and these are alignment guide bolts and I'll show you that there they are right there so there's the alignment uh, pins and then two mounting bolts and this is the surface that I'm mounting on okay here is the Fit check.
very nice fit oh yeah very nice I like it so I've completed the trunnions I've glued the new rocker cradle to the beam this is the old one and here's the new one so you can see this one this new one is quite a bit stronger and I'm very happy with it I've uh, cut the door for clearance for the knob happy with that and I've created the lower blade guides and I've improved the upper blade guides and added a steel shaft instead of that wood dowel I had so that concludes my improvement to this old cast iron table that I got for five dollars with and it did not have a table it did not have any blade guides it didn't have a motor very happy now